hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can build out a android application where you can download the youtube video, video thumbnail so let me just show you basically the app here that we will be building here so let me just you can see this is the live preview of the app here let me open this app here so this app we will be building here you will see there is an input field out there here you can enter the youtube video url and then there is a download button and if i enter the url of the youtube video and click on download so now you will see a notification will be here thumbnail save to gallery and the thumbnail will be fetched here and it will be displayed inside the image view and the, it is saved so now i can open it inside my photos app you can see it is successfully saved here you can see that it is clearly full HD thumbnail which is saved from the YouTube video thumbnail so basically we have downloaded that thumbnail successfully inside our Android phone external storage SD card storage so we will require the internet permission and also the external storage permission also to save image files from to our local Android phone so this is basically the application we will be developing in Java guys so all the source code of this application is given in the description of the video so basically i have written a complete blog post step by step so if you want to get all the step by step instruction and all the source code you can go to the description of this video so now let's get started by building this application so i will now uh, basically delete all the source code and start from scratch so let me just delete all that and start from scratch so this will be a fun little application guys you will get to know about how basically you can make http calls and download files from url so let me just delete all this code here and start from scratch so the very first thing you will do guys now if i run this application here let me also reset the android manifest.xml file also let me just delete all this so now there is a simple main activity file guys main activity is there so if i now run this application click on the run button you will now see basically now it will now build out this application and now it will run this so it will take some time you will see so this is now empty activity nothing is present right here so now we need to add something on the screen so we will now basically add a simple button so just go to activity underscore main dot xml file guys so here you will add all the widgets on the screen that you see inside your app so first of all we will basically add a simple edit text widget so this is a linear layout that we have you will simply paste it here so we have given a id attribute guys so that we can target this url underscore text so hint will be this is placeholder text enter youtube url so if you now apply changes click on this button so now you will see basically a input field will be added enter youtube url you will see that so here the user can enter something on the screen so here i can something right here you can see that so now after this guys we need a simple button to submit the form so here we will simply have a new button here which is download button so again if i apply changes you will now see a button a button will be added here you will see that so download button so now after this guys we need a simple image view where we will be showing the live preview of the thumbnail that we have downloaded and basically we will have this image view widget so it will be around the height of 521 dp margin top 16 dp and you can see that this is the xml code guys that's all this is our layout guys so this is now ready here now we just need to basically go to android manifest.xml file guys and here you need to grant the permissions so the first permission we will add right here at the very top guys which is for internet permission so here you will say that android permission internet 
so we will add this internet permission here and then we will also use a secondary permission which is to show notifications so we will need to have android permission post notifications so that's all and next guys we need to go to our uh, basically main activity java file basically here we will be now be getting the references of the elements that we created so we will first of all create these three private variables let me just create once again private this will be added text so here the user will enter and then we will have a button so this will be download button and next we will have the image view so this will be the thumbnail where the thumbnail will be shown to the user that's all so now guys we will get all the references using this syntax so inside a xml file we have given the ids to each of these three elements which is you can see r.id url text if you see we have given these ids so we are targeting these elements by their ids so simply inside this so after this guys we need to bind a on click listener when we click the button so we will say set on click listener and inside this we will pass new view on click and here we will simply say we need to override a function here so you can simply implement methods so we need to implement this method on click so whenever we click this button we need to first of all download the youtube thumbnail so we will say url text whatever text is there so we will get the text using get text and then we will convert them into string and we will trim it like this so after getting the url guys we will simply check if the url is empty so for checking it we will have the is empty function if the url is not empty so you have put a not sign here so in that case we need to call a function which is download image task which is external function we need to create and we need to execute this we need to pass the url so here we need to now create this function guys which we create which is this will be a private function which we will create which will actually download the thumbnail for us in the background so we will say private this will be a simple class download image task so it will extends this uh, async task async task and inside this we will pass the string void and bitmap so this needs to be string bitmap okay sorry so now guys we need to override some methods here so simply click on implements methods so we need to implement this method do in background so this will now fetch the thumbnail image guys in the form of a bitmap so we need to provide the url here so this will be url 0 this will be array so now we need to create the bitmap this will initialize it to null by default so make sure that you put semicolon at the end of each line so we need to now uh, surround this code inside try catch block so we will say input stream and we need to say new java dot net dot url and here we will simply say the url here which is https image dot youtube dot com so this is basically the uh, syntax guys to get the uh, high resolution thumbnail for any video we just need to basically get the video id here so we will simply say url dot substring and here we will pass the url and then to get the video id we will say last index of and here we will pass slash and then plus one and then we will simply concatenate this max result sorry this needs to be 
max resolution max res default dot jpg and now we need to invoke this open stream methods that's all this is basically the line guys all the source code is given in the description of the video so you can simply copy this source code so then we need to simply say bitmap factory and here we need to decode this and we will pass this object at so so I can simply copy this code here this is the code guys you can see we can implement this class so we are making it this call HTTP call here with the help of this Java net package we are passing this you will see that we are getting the ID max resolution pick we are getting and then we are converting this to a bitmap so and then we are returning it from this function that's all this is the function guys now after it also need to execute a second function guys here we will so here we need to execute this on post execute method guys so inside this it will take the bitmap and now basically we need to save this inside the user machine user android phone so let me just paste this code here this is slightly complicated so that's why i will paste it So if you go to the blog post guys I have given the source code as it is so you can simply basically copy this and paste it here let me explain you this function here so what it is doing here so in on you can see we are basically having this file name every time a unique file name will be generated and then we are basically saving it into the downloads directory so it has its own directories you can say environment dot so every directory is there documents movies music so we are saving it inside the downloads directory so here we downloads and simply we are saving it and after this we are showing the notification that uh, your thumbnail is saved to gallery so now we need to simply now guys we need to go to our android manifest.xml and simply we need to add this code guys right here so we need to add this line guys inside our android manifest.xml so whenever you try to save it inside a folder we need to provide this address which is provider go to android manifest.xml and write inside this uh, activity we need to paste this code here so this basically is telling guys where to save this so make sure that you have this structure correct this is basically your package name and dot file provider and here we need to create inside the xml folder you have this xml folder so we need to create a new file here which is a xml resource file so you can re rename this to anything but i will rename this to provider underscore paths so here you will provide your actual path guys where you will be basically storing your file so we will be storing it inside the downloads directory so here we need to provide the name of the folder so we are downloading inside the download folder so this is basically the path inside your android phone so now your application is now complete so now i can simply run this application so click if i run, click on the green button so now it will run this application so so now you will see basically this is the application if i now paste this url click on the download button so you will see thumbnail save to gallery 
so this is the actual thumbnail guys which is now downloaded and it is now seen here you will see full HD thumbnail is there so you can repeat this for any YouTube video URL guys in any format so this is basically the Android application where you can simply download the video YouTube video thumbnail and save it inside your Android phone all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much